Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another Husky video. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day today because we have a topic that we really need to talk about. So you clicked on this video because your Siberian Husky is not eating or at least not eating like how they're supposed to be and you want to know why? Well, don't worry because in today's video, I'm going to be giving you five reasons why your husky is not eating and how you can go about the situation so that way your best friend can enjoy their next meal. Now, before we dive into this video, and if you are new to the channel and if you absolutely love huskies or cute, funny videos or information on huskies or just husky vlogs in general, and you have not done so yet, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single video that gets posted up onto this channel. Now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and let's dive straight into the video. So your husky is not eating and you want to know why. The first reason why your husky may not be eating and that can be due to lack of exercise. So as a husky owner, you should know that Siberian Huskies need a minimum of two to three hours, maybe even four hours of exercise per day. Now that is because they are working breeds with a lot of energy, so they need to have the ability to run and burn off all the energy that they have stored up throughout the day and or night. Just like her. Like she burned off so much energy. She's so tired. Ain't you tired? Look at those eyes. Yo, her eyes are beautiful. So yeah, if they don't get that required amount of exercise, then it's going to cause them to not want to eat as much because their bodies are not going to have a way to release all of the energy that they have stored from their last meal. So it is imperative that you give your husky the amount of exercise they require. Even if it's just playing around the house, playing tug of war, throwing a ball, or making them chase it, even st mind stimulation games can also work for them. If you have a backyard, that would work even better. Look at that yawn. Yo, you was your booty. You was you. He's like, bro, get this camera out of my face, dude. <laughs> He's trying to hit it. So yeah, all of those are a form of exercise and can help your husky build up a nice appetite. The second reason why your husky may not be eating and that it could be because they are bored or picky of the food they are being fed. So nine times out of 10, if you're feeding your husky the same exact food every single day, especially if it's kibble, then your husky can possibly just be bored with their food. Or they just simply does not like the food they are being fed and they prefer something different. This has been the case for Nyla. So I know what that's like. I had switched, we switched up her food maybe about three to four times until we just told her that no, like this is, this is what you're getting. But they can simply be bored with it or they simply just don't want it. Now this is typical husky behavior because huskies are known to be extremely picky eaters anyway. I mean, wouldn't you get tired of eating the same exact food every single day for the rest of your life? Or at least for your entire life. Like, like look at Nyla, like, would you get tired? Would you get tired of eating the same food every single day? She's looking like, yeah, daddy. Yeah, I, I definitely would. At some point, you're just not going to want to eat the same exact food every single day. And the same thing goes for your husky. So with that said, it is a good idea to keep your husky on a rotational diet. For example, Nala gets switched between beef, turkey, salmon, and lamb, I think. And Loki gets switched between chicken, beef, turkey, salmon, and his puppy kibble. So I would try giving your husky something different, whether it's just a topper, a different kibble flavor, or a different protein, and see if your husky is willing to eat then. So the third reason as to why your husky may not be eating, and that could be because they are not on a feeding schedule. I would recommend putting your husky on a feeding schedule versus free feeding your husky. There are some people that do free feed their husky and it works for them. So in some cases, there is nothing wrong with that. However, free feeding them does have its disadvantages and it just lets them know that they can eat whenever they want versus eating when you need them to. 
See, the longer their food sits out into the open air, it allows germs, bacteria, bugs, and other nasty substances to get into their food, which can make them sick. And it's hard to keep track of how much they are eating if you free feed them versus to giving them a proper proportion of food when it's time to eat. Not to mention, but after a certain amount of time, you're going to have to throw that bowl of food away because it can't sit out all day in the open air. So technically, you're wasting money and food at that point. So what you're going to want to do is put the food in front of them or at their feeding spot and then walk away and don't come back for like another five minutes or so. And then if they don't eat it within that time frame or at least starting to eat it within that time frame, then you're going to want to pick the food back up and then put it back in their kibble bin or in their kibble bag. Or if it's like raw food or cooked food, then you're going to want to put that back into the fridge. Now by putting your husky on an actual schedule, then you are teaching your husky that this is meal time and this is when you should eat. So if you're hungry, please eat your food. This is a good exercise to run through with your dogs, especially picky eaters like Siberian Huskies. Like I mentioned before, Nyla had a very, very, she actually still is very, very picky when it comes to food. Like even with her home cooked foods, she still picks when she wants to eat certain types of food. So if she doesn't want to eat at that time, then we'll just wait until later to feed her. And that is also okay. Sometimes your husky is just going to want to eat once a day. Sometimes they're going to eat twice a day. Huskies are also known to run and do a lot of exercise with little bits of food. So it's, it's okay if they just eat once a day. So the fourth reason why your husky may not be eating, and that can be due to them not being happy in their environment. So if a husky is not happy or comfortable in the environment that they are eating in, then they are not gonna to wanna to eat. I have experienced this firsthand with my huskies. When I first brought Loki home, Nyla was not comfortable eating and just sat by her food, guarding it until he went away. And that's because she was just not used to another dog in her space. If there is something that can potentially be offsetting your dog, then it would be a brand new dog. It could be a cat, a sound, or something that you brought home. It could just be, you know, them not happy within their household or anything in that nature. So the best thing that you can do is to get your husky used to their environment or remove whatever it is that is making them uncomfortable and see if maybe that makes a difference. So the fifth reason why your husky may not be eating and that can be due to an underlying health issue. Now this is by far the most critical one out of everything that I've listed thus far. So if you make sure you give your husky the appropriate amount of exercise, if you have your husky on a feeding schedule and make sure your husky is in a safe environment, then there could be an underlying issue as to why your husky is not eating. I recommend taking your husky to the vet as soon as possible if they have not eaten or eating much in like two days. Um, I had an issue with Nyla where she mimicked the same signs as a dog with EPI. And for those of you that do not know what EPI is, that is a exocrine pancreatic efficiency. So that just means that um, it's like a condition that causes digestive and stomach problems, which leads to intestinal overgrowth of bacteria, which also causes chronic diarrhea, blood on their stool, weight loss, fur loss, and a bunch of other medical issues. So luckily she is not diagnosed with EPI. She just has a very, very sensitive stomach. Um, she does have um, like a very sensitive GI tract. So that, that's what was going on with her. And also come to find out that Loki was just biting on her fur. So that's why her tail isn't as fluffy as it used to be. So yeah, I recommend taking your husky to the vet and getting a blood panel done to check out their levels to make sure that everything's okay with their zinc. Now, it is important to make sure that your husky's zinc levels are in a good place because if they have a zinc deficiency problem, then that can also be the reason as to why your husky may not be eating or it could also be the reason why your husky is probably having other medical issues. Um, so the zinc level is something that huskies tend to lack sometimes. Um, mainly, I'm not sure why it's just huskies, but it's normally 
just within Huskies that you gotta make sure their zinc levels is efficient. So the blood panel and get their zinc levels checked. And then after the blood panel for their zinc levels and everything, have or get done a GI panel. The GI panel, both of those panels will save you so much money. I think we spent thousands of dollars trying to figure out what was going on with Nyla and come to find out that it was just GI and maybe a little bit of zinc. So get the blood panel that tells you about the zinc levels and then get a GI panel just to make sure that your dog's stomach is good. So that is all for today's video. As you guys can tell, the Huskies are pretty tired. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna end the video here. I hope you have found this information helpful to you. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know if you like videos like this because I definitely have more topics that I would like to cover just with my experience with my Huskies. And I'll be happy to share all that information. But until then, thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see each and every single one of you in the next one. Take care.